I wanted a monitor for my camera and I tried out a few different ones, a seven inch one, it was way, way, way too big. So I uh, ended up going for this guy. It's a Viltrox uh, DC50, it's a five inch monitor. Got it from eBay. It was, uh, it was like $100 Canadian, I think. $106 Canadian. Uh, did come from China. Uh, figured it would take like six weeks to come. Actually came in like a week, so pleasantly surprised. But uh, already received it, opened it up, and repackaged it again just so we could do a little unboxing because that's what everybody does, right? Anyway, so let's crack it open and uh, see what we got inside. Instruction manuals, no thanks. So this is the monitor itself. Uh, pretty well made. It is made out of plastic. Very... Uh, Cheap plastic, mind you, but doesn't feel too bad in the hands. Uh, comes with a little sunshade as well, which is nice. Pops on. You can take that off if you don't want that on there, so it just clips off on the side there. Does come out with a little mount for your camera as well, so you can just screw that straight into the bottom, like so. Uh, also comes with a little really cheaply made horrible feeling felt pouch that I will probably never ever use but nonetheless it came with one which is pretty cool and it also comes with the HDMI cable this may or may not fit your camera depending on the camera you have I use Sony's uh, this kind of HDMI cable won't work for me so I already had bought one of these guys which is a slightly different smaller end to it I don't know what they are called um, but it's smaller you also need a battery, it does not come with one. So the batteries I have bought already from Amazon uh, are the NP-FM500H. So you get two for about $30 with a charger and they just clip into the back. Let's put this to the side. And if I wanted to mount it to my A6300, sorry, A6000, I'm filming on the A6300 just slides on the top there. You could use a different mount if you want to. I'm just using the one that it came with. Seems pretty good. You can adjust the angles, that kind of thing. Um, doesn't feel like it would fall off, to be honest. Go ahead and turn it on. And on the sides, you do have an on-off switch. You have a DC in. It's a pretty standard uh, five watt, 7.2 volt plug-in, if you can just find one that fits. Uh, it didn't come with one in the box, that being said. No, you can just pick one up, I guess, as long as it fits. On the side here, you have some ports. You have the HDMI in, the HDMI out, a yellow AV port, and an SR port, which I have no idea what does. Maybe headphones? Who knows? So, on the side of my Sony, plug in the cable that's going to give the output from the camera, and plug it into the HDMI in on the side of the monitor here. Let's see what happens. So right now we are on. No memory card, cannot play, good. It outputs everything to the screen that you see. It's, there's next to no lag either, that's, that's pretty good. You do lose the ability to have the screen on the back. You can't have both, it's one or the other. Um, but the whole purpose of this is really to be able to film videos like this, uh, be able to see myself as I'm filming, which you can't really do with the Sony because it only flips up like this, no left or right. So yeah, that was why I bought this. So it does exactly what I needed to do. Um, there's a whole bunch of menus you can go on and play with. You got like focus peaking, magnification, color temperature, brightness, contrast. You can control all that kind of stuff. I'm never gonna touch that. I don't need it. Uh, mine's purely just so I can see myself. Um, yeah, pretty happy with it. It's a cheap, easy to use monitor. As you can see, it took like two seconds to set up, work straight out of the box. Uh, if you wanna check it out, I'll put the link just below. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe just below. As well, please check out my Instagram. And uh, yeah, thanks, bye.